up, YouTube? Big Lou, Big Lou's Coach Review, back again, and that's right. I'm here to do another review. And it's been about six, maybe seven months since I did my last review. And I went into hiding for a lot of reasons. It was pre-COVID, but uh, it wasn't because of COVID I went into hiding. It was just simply because, um, you know, the vape scene was getting pretty dramatic. And, there were, you know, I get hit up by so many companies to review stuff that I turned down 98% of the stuff out there that's being offered as a review because you're the subscribers I don't really need to gas your heads up or fill your heads up with product every single day um, you know how much stuff can you really buy really you know and last I checked most vapors are not millionaires probably most reviewers are you bring it in a hundred grand a month <laughs> but not vapors so, in general, um, I wanted to say, <laughs> sorry, that was a little dig to other reviewers that are sellouts. So, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to say um, I'm back and I wanted to do a review on something. And, you know, I, I, I purchased a lot of mechanical tube mods within the last seven months. A lot. And some you might see on my Instagram some you might see me doing cloud videos on Instagram or Facebook groups or so forth. Um, you know, I have my hard hitter or the, the hard hitter by Heavy Metal Vapes. I have the Pegasus mod by uh, uh, Infinity Vapes. You know, I've, I've got a lot of mechanical tube mods, a lot. And they were purchased with my money and not sent for free and blah, 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 blah. A lot of RDAs and so forth. Like, you know, I did a review on the Druga V2. RDA. I did it. I have it. It's on my computer. I just haven't had the, the willpower to actually do the review on it. I like it. I don't love it. I wish I loved it, but there's things about it that I just don't like, and I'm going to get into it when I do post that review. Um, and I had a pre-recorded intro-outro, but, you know, hmm, wasn't uh, I wasn't feeling that RDA 100%. I pretty much like it 70%. Okay, now uh, today's a real special day because I didn't want to do a review until I found something that I really like and really wanted to put out there to the masses. Okay, now um, I don't want to sound pretentious or obnoxious or elitist or anything like that, but w when I started doing mechanical tube mod reviews, you know way back in the day. I started off with clone devices because that's all I could afford. The the high line, the high price mechanical tube mods, I get it, just like everyone else out there. It's a tube, bro, what are you doing? It's a tube. So when I started doing reviews way back in the day, like eight years ago, uh, I was doing reviews on clone devices or whatever devices I could afford to purchase. Um, you know, it wasn't until like a couple of years later I started buying authentic product and uh, American product or Russian product or Italian product. You know, that, that was a gradual process of buying authentic mechanical tube mods. Now, I get it. 90% of you people out there say, dude, I could buy a $60 tube. It hits just as hard as your $800 tube. And you're probably right. I'm not going to argue that. That's a fact, okay? There are certain clone companies out there or Chinese manufacturers out there that are actually making product with good quality metals. And I would say a majority of them aren't. But I would say probably around, I think it was like two, maybe three years ago. I think it was around three years ago. I did a video on a mechanical tube mod better known as the Bestia mod. Now, the Bestia mod was uh, created by a man by the name of Ernesto Sanchez, you know, whatever his name is. I don't know. Uh, he, he, some Spanish guy that I spoke to long ago when I saw him in the early, in the very early days of post-production. I'm sorry, pre-production or just production in general on his side fire mechanical tube mod. And I was totally floored and wowed by it. And... I followed him on Instagram. I liked every one of his photos. I reposted photos of his product. I was in communications with him 
we had understandings, you know, he was a small company, you know, he doesn't want to give away product. I get it. So you have to buy his product. I totally understand. He invested a lot of money into his product and, you know, it's, it's, you know, he needs a return in order to see he could order more. So I get it. So I picked one up, did the review, um, and I kind of feel like I introduced that mechanical tube mod to the world. Well, not, not so much to the world. Me, well, could be to the world. I don't know. But I know for sure I was the only one in America at that time with this mechanical tube mod. And nobody knew of it. So, today's review is about another Spanish company releasing a very small, in height... But beautiful. I mean, gorgeous mechanical tube mods. And when I say gorgeous, their etchings, they have laser etchings on their mechanical tube mods that take up to 16 to 18 hours per mechanical tube mod to get etched. Okay? Now, you could buy what they have available or... You could submit a design and have your own personalized one of one mechanical tube mods laser etched to your design, which I think is awesome. I think that's awesome that they could do that. Is it pricey? Of course. It's going to be pricey because, you know, what they're already doing to their mechanical tube mods is so intricate and so beautiful, so amazing that you're going to be shocked. When you look at this mechanical tube mod up close, it hits really hard, okay? It's, it's, it's a hard hitter. It definitely is. And I gotta say, I have not taken it out of my hands for literally for a week and a half now. For a week and a half now, I have not removed this mechanical tube mod from my hands. When the only time that's left my hands is when I'm in a shower or I'm at work and I really can't hold a mech mod and, you know, start vaping big clouds and so forth. But, you know, at work you got to do your stealth vape. Every now and then I'll just pick it up, I'll take a quick drag and I'll blow it through my tie or my shirt or something to, you know, dissipate the vapor, you know. But I got to say, you know, this guy, uh, Carlos Esteban. Okay, Carlos Esteban and his partner are out of Spain. Okay, now I've got reading material here that I can explain the whole company to you, which I'm going to, and I will, because out of respect to Carlos, I think he deserves it. But when you see this mechanical tube mod up close, you could stare at it. I spent hours looking at this mod. Like, the etching, I sit and stared at it in my palm like, Whoa, this is cool. Oh my God. It's almost like I find something hidden. You know how like on the dollar bill, there's like a little owl on the $1 bill on the print all the way. Like you need a, you need a loop to see this tiny little owl. It's minuscule. You know, there's like little things you could find in American money, little, little things. And you think it's like a, a Illuminati connected and so forth. That's how I feel about this mechanical tube mod. It's so intricately etched and it's not just like an etching that you could like wipe off or over time it fades away or something like that no this is a deep engraving etch okay so deep that when you have the mod in your hand you feel the sharpness of the edges which with usage will smoothen out due to the dirt in your hands getting trapped in the micro incisions okay which is pretty crazy uh mine it just feels smooth as all hell right now but the engraving is still deep but oh my god i just i just love this mac i love this mac now i'll get into prices and all that other stuff later but um carlos did assure me that he does ship across the united states but keep in mind this is not a mass production mechanical tube mod. It's not. It's a mechanical tube mod that is made in small batches, okay, where the price is high because he's paying, he's sourcing all his materials from Spain, not China, 
but from Spain. Uh, they do 21 700s, 2700 obviously, and then 18650. Now they have mods that are dedicated for 18650 only, or 21 or 2700 batteries, okay? So I'll, I'll tell you this, um, I'm really, really happy with this mechanical tube mod, and it's a really, really nice one. It hits, I just can't get it. Like I have AV mods, like my Manhattan mod from AV, I still use it to this day. Why? And it's, it's a brass, uh, it's not a competition, it's not a, well, it was labeled as a competition mod, but it, my brass Amerivate Manhattan Mechanical Tube Mod, the one that everyone called the pipe bomb, which it wasn't because Chuff, Chuff's the man, Chuff, the inventor of the Chuff Cap, the true inventor of the Chuff Cap was Chuff. Okay, everyone who says they have a Chuff style design Chuff Cap, it all came from this guy Chuff. Okay, Chuffalophagus. All right, now Chuff, he did a, I remember it was on either Facebook or YouTube a long time ago where he put an air hose and connected to a 510 and dunked his Manhattan mod into a fish tank of water and you could see the bubbles shoot out the button showing that it does have venting. Okay, and a lot of people called that mechanical tube mod a pipe bomb back in the days, which it wasn't. Uh, I own three of them, you know, and I, I love them to death. They're still, they were still by, by far like the hardest hitting mechanical tube mod I had. And then the next hardest hitting mechanical tube mod I had was the Sub Ohm Innovations. Sub Ohm Innovations with their clutch designed uh, switch. And then, you know, Broadside Mods elected the Broadside, uh, they elected the Sub Ohm Innovation Clutch styled switch in their switch, okay? So because they knew if they wanted a hard hitting mechanical two bot, that's the way to go. And they were right, you know, Sub, sub Ohm Innovations, man, let me tell you, very inspiring company. Uh, hard hitting mechs, you know. Kennedy Mods, Kennedy? <laughs> Kennedy mods are sick. They hit like a son of a bitch. Those are hard hitting mechanical tube mods. I own a bunch of Kennedys. Even got a Vindicator 28 millimeter. Uh, I just want to get it powder coated by uh, Palmer's powders before I start using it again. Uh, so I gotta, yeah, Palmer, I gotta hit you up, man. We gotta, we gotta do something, man. We've been saying we're gonna do something, man. We gotta do something, bro. Um, yeah. So that's about it for that. So I want to jump into this mechanical mod viewing slash review and go from there okay then I'll give you my final thoughts all right guys I wanted to read you guys a little literature about the company just super fast and give you some dimensions on the product prices and how to go about picking one up if you chose to okay now Carlos Esteban and his business partner created method back in November of 2019 with the intention of improving the vaping experience by providing innovation, functionality, and design, and by applying the highest quality standards with 100% Spanish-made products. Now, currently they have in their catalog uh, two mechanical tube mods, and that is in the 21700 version, which can utilize 2700 batteries without any battery rattle. And they have an 18650 version. Now, uh, the model name is the Method 121 or the Method 118. Okay, now... Different designs are made of the model, ranging from powder coating to complete engravings and a large range of prices depending on the finish, uh, ranging from 280 euros uh, for the basic model and up to 700 euros for engraved and personalized one of one models. Now, on the description portion of this end, you need to understand that high-quality naval brass body and high-grade aluminum bodies, both with brass 
contacts, okay? They're eventually going to have titanium, mochum, and other highly conductive metals to come. So as they continue to sell mechanical tube mods and make some money, they could apply it towards the more expensive conductive metals. Now, they have a super innovative, innovative uh, slide side fire. It's not a push in button. It slides up and down along the body of the mechanical tube mod. So therefore it is a slide side fire mechanical firing mechanism. It's unique uh, for the market. It's got a 510 hybrid connection. Uh, overall height is 79 centimeters for the 21700 and 72 centimeters for the 18650. The diameter of the smallest portion of the mechanical tube mod at the 510 is 24 millimeters. 24 millimeter RDAs fit perfectly on it. Okay, uh, it's 24 millimeter for the 21700 and the 18650 model. Its widest portion is 30 millimeters at the base of the mechanical tube mod. So it's 24 up top and then it, in, it gets larger as it gets to the bottom to 30 millimeter. 18650 or 21700. Now this company's got the leading worldwide laser engravings that are mega deep, beautiful in design and amazing in quality. They got three design lines. They got the basic bare metal, they have powder coating, and then they have the special edition lines. You can get five max units or the fully engraved ones of 20 units, or you can get the one of one where it's your own personal design, but that one's going to be pretty pricey. Okay, guys, so I wanted you guys to be able to relive the experience that I had when I opened up this packaging. And I don't mind showing you my address or where it came from. I don't really care. You know, I don't have to X that out or anything like that. Everybody knows I live in Lindenhurst. That's my address, 6 North Jefferson Avenue in Lindenhurst. If you want me, come find me. I'm here, all right? So anyways, when I opened this, it came like this with this bubble wrap thing. And over here it says, welcome to the Method family, okay? Hashtag my method 2K writing. And I thought this was cool. This was personalized. I thought this was really cool of... Uh, of Carlos to do that so I thought I thought that was pretty awesome okay so let's see go ahead and pull out this packaging okay now uh, comes in this cool little box okay so it's a nice box it's one of those flip magnet boxes so it's gonna have the box itself it's got this little flip lid that's magnetic okay let me zoom in a little bit okay because I want you guys to see the contents within now there's nothing you know usually when you get a box from China there's there's logos everywhere web addresses and Facebook addresses and this address and that address not this one okay so this you just basically unflip it open it up now, on the inside, it says, Big Lou, I hope you like it and enjoy it. Carlos Esteban from Spain. I thought this was another nice touch, basically, because, you know, this is him writing it, you know. I don't know if he's going to do this with everyone, saying thank you for the support and everything. I imagine he's going to, but I don't know if he is or if he isn't. But I'm just saying, I really dig this. Thank you. Very, very much, Carlos. Very, very nice of you to write that. That means a lot to me. Now inside, they also give you a certificate of authenticity, which is cool. You have the Method Mech Mods logo card, right? It's got a nice feel to it. It's uh, smooth. It almost feels like there's a rubberized coating on here, but it is just a card. Here we have the certificate of authenticity. So it tells you the model that I have, the serial number, and the date, okay? And also his signature, okay? So it's Carlos's signature with his last name, uh, or actually his signature, and it just says enjoy with 
exclamation marks on it okay and then they have their branding here they have their website information so but you know that's their branding v written very very small in a very tiny font so you'll be able to uh, you know refer someone if interested in it okay so once you open up the box this is how you're going to find your mechanical tube mod now mine is not shiny okay if you're expecting a shiny shiny brass mechanical tube mod mine in this video is not going to be shiny simply because i use it okay now uh in here they give you now in this little package here, they give you springs and screws and O-rings. And I'll get into what the springs are for, what the screws are for, you can plainly see it's on the switch itself. But what are the springs for? And a lot of people are like, hmm, that's a tiny little spring. And it gives you a bunch of them too, which is cool. I like the fact that it gives you extra springs, extra screws and extra O-rings. Another nice little feature is that they give you 0 0.14 ohm coils. Okay, gives you two coils in here, which is pretty cool. You know, they got some coils in there for you. Right? These coils are made out of Spain, so made in Spain. And it's a Method Dual 0.14 ohm coils. If you're looking for that crackle effect with your mechanical tube mod when you hit the firing button, then you will get the crackle effect with these coils. Okay, and uh, the name of this coil is... Tobal Coils, T-O-B-A-L. I guess that's the man who makes the coils is Tobal, I'm guessing. I don't know. Uh, here, here we have a bottom cap, and that's all this is, basically. It's just a cap with the laser etchings on it, okay? Now, I've used this for a couple days, so it's still not as shiny. But there is something I did want to talk to you guys about, and I'll talk about it later, but... Because this is a laser etch device, the etching's got to go all the way around, and then it's got to meet at some point. And at some point, those etchings have to match, or they have to line up correctly. And I've seen it done on other mechanical tube mods where they fail on the laser etchings of designs where the designs do not meet up correctly. But that's what you get for a mass-produced mechanical tube mod. Here at the bottom of the cap you have their logo it says method one f e and it says my method 2k okay and you know like i said i like the fact that they give you this extra cap uh simply because if you want to use a brass rda on top of your mech mod you can so you could match it with the brass cap on the bottom mine i have it with the black cap on the bottom and I like the black cap on the bottom simply because the black cap on the bottom looks cool uh, to me it does honestly it just looks cool you know so I like how it looks with an RDA on top especially the Druga V2 RDA on it so I'm really digging how they give you this smooth nice feeling black cap okay which goes on the bottom of the mech now, we're going to switch up to a macro lens so we could really look up close into this mechanical tube mod. Oh, lastly, in case I forget, they also give you polishing cloths. These aren't bullshit cloths. These are actual polishing cloths. Okay? These you could actually clean your mechanical tube mod with. So if you want to clean your 510 you can and it will get dirty like I said I could look at this mech mod all day and check out that design it's just such a nice design and this is our side fire switch how this works is you just basically push it down so this goes up and down 510 connection on here it says my method 2k number zero of 20 now the caps on here you basically pull it from the mechanical tube mod and underneath you have two beefy o-rings and battery venting 
And to remove this, you just simply spin this. Now, if I wanted to remove the cap, I would just keep the cap, you know, I, I, I can just pull on it or twist it off or whatnot. But I'm going to keep my cap on here because I'm still using this cap on this mod. Very nice tolerances in the threads. The threads, not chunky, you know, very, very smooth, very smooth, very nice threading. Very good job. High, to high tolerance on the threading on the brass. Very nice. If you look up close on the threading, which I'm going to zoom in. You can see for yourself the threading is just clean, very clean all the way around. Very nice threading. They did an excellent job. On the inside you have your three vent holes and the contact right there. Now you could put your negative or positive there, whichever one you prefer, whichever one you think works best for you and the top portion of this cap is actually going to be making contact with your switch once you thread this cap into this mechanical tube mod the switch is designed to make contact with the body of the mech mod with this cap here now what separates the current from this bottom cap from the mechanical tube mod well that would have to be the delrin threaded insert right here okay now if this wasn't here and you were threading this into the mech then it's always going to be constant contact it's always going to be firing so this little delrin threaded sleeve right here is what separates the current from the contact that's touching the battery end and then the top portion of the battery that's going through the 510 is touching the RDA. So you need this black Delrin here to break the circuit. In order to complete the circuit, you would move your switch, which if you look in there, you'll see the switch. And if I push it forward, it will move downward. And by moving downward, what it, what it does is it's going to make contact with the brass cap. You can see how I push that, it goes. So if you wanna remove the switch from the mechanical tube mod, you need a small screwdriver. So in removing the screws, you're gonna use a micro screwdriver. It's a very, very small screwdriver head. Very easy to lose these screws, so be careful not to drop them you do have extras in your packet of o-rings and springs and so forth but if you ever need to clean your contact you're simply just going to back out these screws put them aside i usually like to drop them on a cloth so i know they're not going to move or bounce around or go anywhere Now you can see that this top plate here, this is just a plate. That's all it is really, it's just a plate. Okay, now looking at this, you could see that the top screw basically meets at the very top of the mechanical tube mod. It's right there at the very edge on that switch. Okay, it's right there. And then you have another screw hole there, and then you have your spring, which is right in there. Okay, so I'm going to back this out, and I'm going to push this down so I can remove the switch housing. And there you go. There you can see the little spring that feeds into here. And then you have your two screws. On the bottom, keep in mind, this bottom portion right here is what's making contact with the bottom cap. 
So as you can see, there's a hole at the bottom of this little bar basically. And this is what goes on the inside of your mechanical tube mod and that is where your spring will go. I'm going to take my spring right now. I'm just going to go ahead and drop it in there. Get it fitted in there. So that's the spring that goes in the sliding bar of the switch. So the way I'm putting this back together again, I'm simply just keeping this resting on my finger with the spring in, inside that little housing. I'm going to go all the way up and I'm going to push the plate up against the, this portion of the mechanical tube mod so I can compress my spring, slide my finger back, and then pop this in. As you can see, the spring is keeping tension on that bar to keep it pushed up to keep the inner bar of the inside away from making contact with the, with the cap. Okay, I'm going to screw on my Druga V2. Meets up nicely. There's no gap between the RDA and the mechanical mod itself. Okay? No gap. Today I'm using Samsung 40T batteries. These are 21740 T's. They cost a pretty penny, but I like the way they work. They fire real nicely. I'm doing this one positive up, negative down. You could do this positive down where the battery, the top portion of your battery will be meeting up with the vent holes on the bottom. You could do it like that also. Okay, so now I stopped right there. You notice there's a gap right there, and this is what I like these O-rings for and this cap. I just twist and push down, and that's it. The cap meets up with the mechanical tube mod. No space there. And it fires nice. This logo reminds me of a beetle or like a Japanese mask or something like a Japanese warrior mask or I don't know what that means that logo but it's pretty cool looking lastly I just wanted to show you guys how the brass cap looks with the etching and how it lines up perfectly with the etching above and below on this mechanical tube mod granted I don't use my brass cap as much as I use my mechanical tube mod Therefore, you can see this is newer looking because it hasn't been patinaed or dirtied by my hands yet. Whereas this one has usage. So you guys know and see that I didn't just get this mod today and review it the moment I opened the package. I've actually been using this mechanical tube mod all day every day. But if you look at the etchings below, you'll notice the etchings below match perfectly with the etchings above. And that's something else. So I gotta say guys, this mechanical tube mod right here is by far the nicest mechanical tube mod I've ever owned. You know, it's the nicest looking mechanical tube mod I've ever owned, okay? And it's, like I said, it's got little intricate details to it that I'm still looking at it and I'm still kind of finding things 
in the etching itself, okay? The side fire on here is just awesome. You know, simple, so simple, you know, so simple in design. Just push down and it'll fire. And it fires nicely. No arcing, no hot button. The mechanical tube mod doesn't even really get warm on me. And I got a 0.08 in here. So 0.08 and it's still not getting hot on me. You know, the coils that I have in here, uh, they're awesome coils, you know. Now the coils that I have been using for the majority of the time lately has definitely been dead faced wire, okay? Dead faced wire is probably the hardest hitting coils I could use in any RDA on any mechanical tube mod. There's so many ways you can make your mod hit hard, but it's really the battery you choose. It has to be safe, but it also has to be conductive and has to be able to, to throw the current into your RDA or into your coil. And then having the right coils is also a part of it also. Now, some people charge, you know, upward to $60 for a pair of coils, you know. Dead face wire doesn't, okay? Very moderately priced, actually, uh, very cheaply priced, but amazing power comes out of these coils, okay? And it gives you, you know, I got three in my little canisters here, so when I open this up, actually, I'm down to two in this one, uh, and so I have one pair. So I have a dual coil and a dual coil. Both beautiful coils, both hard hitting, and both holy shit. So, and then the other one's empty, because I used up all those coils already. But, uh, Dead Face Wire guys, check them out. Awesome coils. But when it comes to the Method mod, I, I got it with a black cap on the bottom. I like the black cap with the Druga V2 on here. I like, I like how that looks, basically. I might do a brass RDA and switch off to the brass cap that comes in this box with this mechanical tube mod. But it's nice for the fact that I got two caps. I got the black cap and I got the brass cap. So I can differentiate, you know, if I want to shine up the brass, I'll shine up the brass, make it really shiny and polished and so forth and so forth. I could do that if I want to, but I'm probably not going to. Um, I'm, I like it dirty, I like it smooth, and I like this matte look that I have to it right now. It's got like a matte finish based on a patina of the brass, so it looks really cool. You know, price tag on it, it might be a little steep for you guys out there, but you know what, if you want something if you're a mech mod collector like myself and you want something that's you know cool looking but also hard hitting it's this mod right here okay it's that mod right there this mod right here hard hard hitting and uh really cool <laughs> really really cool that's all I'm going to say, guys. So this is number zero of 20. I got number zero of 20, which I think this was, I think it was Carlos Esteban's mod. I think it was his personal mod, basically. And I was, you know, I think I'm, I think I'm pretty much floored by that. So I think that's really cool, you know. So I think that's pretty awesome. And that's it. That's all I got to say, folks. So stay tuned. I'll have more reviews up and coming in the future and everything. Um, it's only going to be quality products from here out. So you're not going to get blasted in the face with a million things. I might start doing live, uh, just live blogs, just hanging out, talking to people and just shooting the shit, really. That's about it. Talking about anything, you know, in a chat room, trying to answer people's questions and talk to people in general, you know. And, uh, and then go from there, you know, just do blogs, you know, and, uh, not so much review reviews unless it's a product that I really want to share with you guys that I think is awesome. Okay. That's it. So for me, YouTube, peace out, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. And thank you very much for watching. As always, my love and appreciation goes out to every single subscriber out there, even the ones that hate me. Peace.